Good morning, Keyboard Cowboys and Cowgirls. Today, we're going outside. Old guy, stripe guy, construction guy. Oh, crap, he's looking at me. I didn't get any footage of the inside because I was worried that if I took my camera out and just started recording, people would think I was a terrorist and then security would come and shoot me. Because terror is everywhere. The Times Square bomb suspect, Faisal Shazad, has recently pled guilty to the attempted attack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, the Labor Department is intending to issue regulations allowing gay workers to have family leave just the same as heterosexuals do. The regulations will be issued this week, affecting a law that previously allowed only heterosexuals to have unpaid time off to care for their family and newborns. Apparently, before this, gay workers only got paid time off to care for family or newborns. That's so unfair! In completely unrelated news, a few months ago, a certain special typography icon called the Sark Mark was released. It's great! It hasn't even circulated through the internet yet, so nobody knows what it really is. Except for a select group of people, so you can use it just for yourself. Now you too can put the Sark Mark at the end of your sentences. Abstruse sarcasm is no longer just for the real life. You can use it online, too. What the hell is that squiggly thing? It looks like your sentence is throwing up. And it can be yours, for only two dollars. And look at that wet- Oh, hey, they're offering it free for a limited time offer? I wonder why. But for a completely unsarcastic observation, my soul hurts thinking about them trying to market this thing. For added fun, watch their ad. <laughs> By the way, apparently some people are so linguistically inept that they've been trying to define sarcasm since the 1800s. And rhetorical questions by the 1600s because people are just tired of having their questions answered. Does a bear crap in the woods? Well, I'd say it's most likely that he does crap in the woods unless his forest burns. Shut up! Two neurosurgery researchers who are studying the frescoes in the Sistine Chapel for some reason apparently discovered that there is a brain drawn into the neck of God in the fresco, the separation of light from darkness. Apparently the thing is so dang anatomical Atomically correct that they showed it to other sciencey type people and they're all like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, I see, yes, indeed, I agree. Of course, this isn't the first time that Michelangelo has done something like this. Look at this picture, and now look at this picture. So what was Michelangelo trying to say? Well, I don't know about that, but I do know that Michelangelo was really pissed at the church for making him do the Sistine Chapel. He was old, his back was aching, and he really wanted to make sculpture. To protest this, he painted the Pope and a lot of other people who pissed him off while he was making it in as devils and stuff like that. Devils and stuff, why do I not do that? So the moral of this video is, don't piss off Michelangelo, or his ghost, I guess. This one's for you, Colossus Beam. This is Way on the Great Adventure. Boop.